Hi, it's another perfect day in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. This is January 25th. Look at this perfect weather we're having. Unbelievable. Look at this perfect tree right here. We got one over here too. Green, yellow leaves just fluttering in the wind. This tree is a Arizona ash tree. Now he's not native to our canyon, so I suspect he's somebody's ornamental plant. The seeds got away, flowed down this little channel here, and planted themselves, and grew into this beautiful Arizona ash tree, Fraxinus velutina. So it comes from the olive family, Alaceae. It's also called a velvet ash, a desert ash, modesto ash, smooth ash, a few other names. So it's native to the foothills and lower mountains of southwestern United States and Mexico. You find them in Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Utah, California. And you usually find them from 2,000 to 6,000 feet above sea level. And we are at 750 feet above sea level. So he's not native here, but he's a very welcomed guest because he's so pretty. Wow, he's described as a woody, deciduous, perennial tree. He's upright, rounded, and open. He's got a very wide canopy. He's clean looking. Grows about two feet per year. Gets to be about 20 to 50 feet high, 20 to 50 feet wide. This guy here, I think he's a, I don't know, about 45 feet tall. Wow, let's take a closer look at all the bark and the roots, the leaves, the flowers, and the seeds. I got it all for you today. All right, so here's the bark. A little gray, light gray color. Now he's a little bit rough and he doesn't have that diamond appearance you find on a lot of uh, ash trees like a green ash or a white ash. He's got little square or rectangular little bark with tiny little fissures. And the newer growth you see up here, see how smooth it is? So it's called a smooth ash. And the older growth gets a little bumpier and he uh, likes to lay flush to the ground here without exposing his roots. This is a uh, dioecious plant. So he's got both male and female flowers. And here are the males. Some male flowers, a little cluster here. He's full of all the anther and the stamen and the pollen. And the bees love this tree here. Wow, look at that. So I've got a female I want to show you over here with some uh, roots and some other things about this tree. It's got glows here behind the sun. You got beautiful color. Wow. Terrific. Okay. So anyway, so the roots, this guy here, see how he's nice and uh, nice and flush to the ground right here. Just no roots exposed. But over here in our wash, we've got some exposed roots for you. See how gnarly they are. Right, so this guy here, that's his root down here. Look how big, wow, invasive that is. So over here as well. So there's surface roots. If you plant this next to your sidewalk or structure, it's gonna do some pretty bad damage. I'll show you here, here's a good example of this new growth that came out. See how smooth this bark is? Smooth ash, and the mother is a little bit rougher. Okay, make sure you prune this too, because see how this branch comes out? And it uh, will just hang down. And just uh, hang down to the ground. It won't give you that big canopy look that you want from this tree. This is pinnately compound, which means uh, it's got leaves here that come out. Okay, and these little guys there, they're called leaflets. And I'll show you a couple over here that I pulled off one of our trees. Show you what they look like. So our Arizona ash, you could have uh, either seven leaflets on a leaf. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or this guy has five. They're from the same tree. All right, so same tree gives us seven or five. And they always end with a terminal leaflet here at the end. Now sometimes they're 
a little longer, elongated or lance shaped, and sometimes they're a bit broader. Now they are finely toothed. Real close look here. Little tiny teeth on the edges. And they're also hairless. Okay, so they're nice shiny green on the top. And on the bottom, there's a little bit lighter color. So when they flutter in the wind, you get a very nice, pretty, aspen looking, waving green leaf. Isn't that cool? So let's take a look at the female flowers here. This is a female tree. We got our female here. Okay, little flowers are coming up. Now the flowers arrive the same time that these uh, leaves or the leaflets come out. There's some more flowers here. They're very, very tiny. Those are the flower stalks. And once it's all fertilized in winter, early spring, they'll form seed pods, which look like this. Here we go, some seed pods. These are called achenes. What you have on each achene, I'll pull this off, here we go. Here's a couple. So the very bottom is one seed and it's uh, covered by a wing. So it happens here when it gets all windy. See, these seeds, they'll fall off and then they'll just blow in the wind to spread themselves around. How about that? Let's pull back here. I'll tell you uh, how to grow this tree. So at home, it likes full sun, but uh, it does suffer from trunk or scalding on the limbs if it gets too much direct sun and it's too hot. So like in Arizona, if you prune it, don't prune it too much because you don't want to expose too much of the, you know, the, le the limbs and the branches or you get scalding on this guy. They're cold hardy down to 10 degrees Fahrenheit like well-draining soil. They're drought tolerant, but it does better with regular watering in the hot seasons, especially deep root watering. watering. And you carefully prune it to uh, make sure you get that perfect canopy shape. And there's diseases. It gets Texas root rot with too much water. And you might get some uh, aphids on the leaves this guy is pretty aphid free. So aphids will cause a little scarring on the leaves. Not too much, but you do get a little. I'll show you over here how gnarly they grow. Okay, if you don't uh, really grow them right. So this guy here, see he, uh, he came in, he's kind of wild invasive fellow. And he's uh, got lots and lots of little branches coming off. Now this would turn out to be a big bush, unless it's pruned, it'll grow up to be a nice tall tree. And here, we got two that are growing close together, and they're already, already branching out here. But they're so smooth and pretty. The bark, the leaflets, this one here is seven leaflets on this leaf. Okay. Great, let's take one last look at our beautiful, beautiful Arizona ash tree here. So I do recommend this if you have room in your yard or your lawn, because it's a great tree. And except for the pruning and cleaning up some of the mess, it's a fantastic addition to your lawn or your little retail center. So this is winter, big, shiny yellow green leaves and in fall they'll turn like a flaming yellow and then fall to the ground because it is deciduous and it'll restart wow that's pretty fantastic all right so thanks for watching my video if you like that and more plants please subscribe like share and all the rest you know bringing lots more uh trees and bushes and flora and fauna of our little canyon down here called Cota de Casa in Orange County. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.